Pierce, to you first, how are you feeling um, ahead of your first ever marathon? Good. I feel great. Um, practice has been well, cross country season, and now ready for Sunday. Okay. So what is the goal for you? Not to beat his time because I searched it up and it's insane <laughs> for his first marathon. So I think um, sub four hours and then hopefully 3.30-ish. Okay. So Mike, for you, this is going to be your 175th marathon. I can't imagine though the emotions you'll be feeling at the end of this one have to be different than every other one. Oh yeah, this is going to be probably the most special marathon I've ever done. Like this has been a dream uh, since Pierce was a baby and I was pushing him in the jog stroller at like 10 months and we set a Guinness world record to be able to share uh, a marathon with Pierce and hopefully even more races in the future I think is a dream come true and something that I've really wanted to do. So Pierce more excited or more nervous? Excited, for sure, yeah. Okay. Um, what have you learned? I'm more nervous. <laughs> okay. I, I guess uh, one of the questions here is, you know, teenagers when it comes to their parents, right? You can go one way or the other way. So do you follow his advice or do you not want to hear it? Um, I'm probably going to have to follow his advice. <laughs> but until he's now. all my stuff. <laughs> he's carrying all your stuff. Okay. So you'll be pacing him, not the other way around? Maybe. I don't know. We'll... Yeah. We were going on a practice run on Monday, and it was, I, I was, was pulling him along a little yeah. bit. <laughs> what, what was it that made you decide to do your first marathon, and, and was there any question that this was going to be at Marine Corps? Um, well, I had to wait until I was 18, so I didn't start thinking about it really until more recently, and then this one's coming up. So, uh -huh. yeah. and, and special that it was his first and it'll be your first? Yeah. So you've spent a lot of time thinking about that. A little bit. Okay. So what, what, what will go through your head? Will you, be, will you be in coach mode during this race? How do you think you'll approach it? I mean, yeah, I think it'll be pretty clinical. I mean, I've paced people all over the world. Uh, I paced for um, Achilles International. I paced for, like, Culture City. So I've paced, like, visually impaired athletes, athletes with disabilities. Um, for world records, I've paced, like, at the highest level also, like, uh, Olympians and former Olympians. So... I think I'll use some of those skills and then, you know, try not to be too much of a too much of a dad during it, but I definitely will. <laughs> we'll will be in full dad mode and uh, hopefully super proud dad mode. Like I think I'm just proud that Pierce is willing to take on this challenge and uh, that he's letting me be a part of it. You know, like you said, it's it's, you know, sometimes hard with uh, kids as they grow up uh, not wanting to spend as much time with you and I think this would be a great way to spend a couple hours together on a beautiful day in one of my favorite cities in the world and one of my favorite races uh, Marine Corps has been super special to my heart um, done it I think over 20 times so to be able to share that experience with Pierce is going to be a dream come true yeah I bet a lot of parents are, are watching this and, and thinking how do you approach this I mean because some parents can be like overly involved some parents might just sort of back off and they they want to let you know their, their kids lead the way so how do you approach this and how have you seen him approach it let me just ask you that first um i don't know i think he's approached it pretty well um we've given you space yeah i'm just practicing with cross country and all that stuff and then sometimes i'll ask about it but not not overbearing at all not intrusive do you have no. to fight the urge to be like <laughs> to nitpick sort of everything no i mean i I've been really impressed. Like, uh, he runs for a WNL cross country here in Arlington. They do an amazing job. So I knew that they would get him ready. A couple years ago, we ran the Baltimore half marathon. Um, and like, he did no long runs, no training other than cross country and absolutely crushed it. So I knew at that point, um, you know, there was nothing more that I could do to really help him. And for the marathon, I thought, you know, getting one long run in would probably be in addition to his cross country training, like the right thing to do. And we did that a couple weeks ago and he absolutely smashed that too. So um, I think it's really just about going on race day and executing. And I'm pretty sure and confident Pierce will be able to do that. Last question for you. You're an emotional guy. I've seen you yeah. with the emotions come out during some of your runs in the past. Have you allowed yourself to think about the emotions that might come over you when you cross the finish line together? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can't even imagine how Blabbery, I'll be probably at the end, uh, especially like um, knowing that it was my first marathon and then getting to do it like 28 years later with your son that you're so proud of. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine that it's going to be a, yeah, a waterworks show maybe, uh, especially like as you kind of 
get down 110 and you make that left to go up the hill to the finish line like yeah i can imagine with the marines there and like the the fans going and like jennifer and grant and our family and all all the community of runners and i think everyone knows that he's doing it like we see people when we're on training runs it's, you know yelling for us and saying you know good luck pierce and so i think it'll be really emotional yeah, yeah. if you pictured that finish line moment what's it look like to you in your daydreams well i just started thinking about it just now and i think it's i think it's gonna be a race to the top um a race you're gonna race him to the tape oh try shit. It. i didn't know maybe. that <laughs> if, I, if i'm feeling that good at the end maybe okay then there might, might not be time for waterworks the well, the last, well the last time we ran the half marathon together he dropped me uh <laughs> so i stayed with his friend lucas and yeah. i never got to see him finish so i'm excited to kind of be hopefully in the vicinity when we get towards the uh towards the end nice yeah. well, good luck to you both no matter the outcome it's going to be an awesome day for both of you so really happy for y'all